This concept is unique in the world. No, there are only a hundred Pullmans left in the world. Most of them are uh, with uh, historic railways or with the Orient Express. Uh, we have four of them, which is 4% of the entire world stock. So there aren't many, so we're the only ones who, uh, have, who, who do this. And it's the only place where you can sleep in a Pullman. Pullmans have such an exotic background, exotic history. They, they, they were, they were the, the Titanic of the railways. They were the Concorde of the railways. They were, if you had enough money and you traveled in style, you went by Pullman. Um, you know, a large carriage like that is 66 feet long. It had 18 seats in it. You know, you, you sat in a huge armchair, one either side. You had a bell if you wanted somebody to come and do something for you. And a, a beautifully dressed steward would be along before you could think of him and uh, bring you whatever your heart desired. Um, they, they were just, they were fabulous. They were a, a no money spared build. They were just wonderful, they're exotic. It was almost as if whoever designed them thought, these will make hotel rooms when they go into retirement. Um, architecturally, we have changed nothing except take out the furniture, which were chairs. Pullmans al almost always had a four-seat coupe at either end, and it was a private room where four people could sit and shut the door. And they had a table between them. These uh, coupes, they now make up our bathrooms. In the middle of the carriage, there was always a dividing wall which was both there to strengthen it and to give slight separation between the two halves of the carriage and they had a door in them. All we do is we fill in the door and that wall separates the two halves of the carriage. So we have two bedrooms, two bathrooms. In the business, we're called a destination hotel. We're not a hotel because we're a bed and breakfast or guest accommodation, but we fit into that category. There aren't many places like Cliveden, for instance. They'd probably be a destination hotel. Not that I'm comparing myself to Cliveden, but they, they, people go there because they just want the ambience. They want to stay somewhere where Christine Keeler or the Astors used to live and it's famous, you know, they're not looking for a bed for the night. My guests are not looking for beds for the night. They come here because this is their destination. So uh, we have a slightly different pro profile of clientele to uh, the, the normal run of bed and breakfast around here. They're very hard to look after properly because they're made of quite exotic materials which are both expensive and hard to find. They're, they're all built of hardwood, either teak or mahogany. I don't like to make repairs unless they are in the proper materials. So craftsman cost, the time cost, the material cost, and you know, they're all getting on for a hundred years old. Um, you know, they get a lot of wear and tear here. So yeah, no, it takes a lot of looking after. Romantic destinations are always high on everyone's list. And uh, you can see that from, you know, if, if, we, if we're having quiet winters now because of the recession from the 14th of February, things go berserk. 